Now here's something I'm going to try here up against the wall. Now, the only reason why I'm going to do this, if you notice, there's a quarter round trim next to the floor and it's pushed down tight to the tile. And that goes all the way around the base. So this tile actually was installed first and then they put the quarter round. Okay, so the, so the tile edge goes underneath there. So what I want to do is see if I can loosen this up to the wall without breaking it, now I can lift this and, and try to wiggle it back and forth. Now this one here broke, and it probably broke because there's some, there might be some tack strip nails here, you know, that were holding it. And so you get it up to this point, you've got to lift up on it and just, I'm just cracking it off right there. I want to make sure that's nice and tight. Okay. If I go to the next one, let's see if I can get this one off. I'm going to take that and kind of hit it like this. See, I, I was able to get most of it out. There's just a little piece here, and that didn't come out because there was a carpet nail right there. And even if I get it loose, I can maybe dig into it and try to wedge it out. It's not wedging out. Sometimes it'll wedge out if you kind of grab it just right. So I'm using a three inch crummy putty knife and it's flexible so I can get in there and then pull back just a little bit if I have to and flex it straight up. Now see this one here is gonna be virtually impossible to get out in one piece. It's probably going to break. But maybe I can get it. See, I got part of it out. See? And now that, I can, I can get underneath there and bend it up. And then as I'm going, I got to feel if there's any nails from the carpet tack strip that didn't come out all the way that I beat down. I would have only beat it down flush with the tile, right? So then you just have to feel with your fingers and if you feel something, get your hammer out and hit on it. Okay? Now usually when I'm hitting with that, I'm going to use a pair of goggles. You always want to get yourself a pair of goggles. These are full view goggles. You can use the sunglass type goggles. Anything, because you don't want a little piece of metal coming up and flying directly into your eyeball, let's say. Because it's possible to do this. Okay, I've got it loose almost up to the wall. I don't want to go too far. And then I'm going to lift this and hit on it. Look at that, I got that one out. That also loosened up this next piece over here, the edge of it. And see, I was able to pull that little piece out. Got most of it out. It just makes it a little bit easier. Main thing is you want this all flush. If you don't want to do that, you can snap off every single one if you want. Go in there, break it off. But it's not going to break off smooth, so then you're going to have to check it like that. So depending what how you're doing it, that might help you out. Now this one here. There's a nail right there. I've got just an edge that I've got to break off. And because this tile was so thin, it's did it. It snapped off. Okay? Then after that, get your goggles on. Got my knee pad here. I can take my putty knife. 
push that along there. But lots of times I just use my glove. I fill a nail right there. And you want to be careful too. You don't want to get too close and, and not pay attention. You can hit the hammer right on the edge of your baseboard. I've even seen carpet guys do that when they whack in their, uh, their tack strip sometimes. Okay, there's a little piece right there. That way I know it's all down. And when I use the razor scraper on here, because I'm going to be cleaning off this tile uh, mastic, yeah, it's going to take me a while to do that. I want all of those flush because I don't want those breaking my, my scraper. And speaking of Speaking of that, see how dark this floor is? This is that black, ugly, nasty, tar stuff, substance that sometimes they use to put down on the floor. I don't even know if they do that nowadays. Usually it's a clear substance. This was years ago. Okay, let's see in this room here. I've already razored that bit over there. Okay, I've got to get that top layer off because now I have to use uh, I'm going to go over it with the razor scraper one more time in certain areas and then I'm going to take a steel brush. I'm going to take a steel brush like this one and I've got to clean some of this off to make it look better because I'm going to stain those floors. And see here's, here's a room, this is just a little closet. I've already cleaned all that stuff off and I still have to do a little bit of work to see the lines where the uh, tiles were. I've got to fix that and I've got a way to do that. You keep watching my, my videos and I'll show you that in an upcoming episode. Okay? Because when we get all done, I've shown you this before, but if you've not watched my videos, you may not have seen it. I want to make the floor look like this. This is a stained concrete floor. Lots of people nowadays like stained concrete floors. It's, it feels good on your feet. You can still put, put uh, drop mats down and different rugs and stuff. It just gives your room a different feel, doesn't it? You know, having, having this in your room, doesn't that look nice? I want to continue that up into the rest of the house. Here's your hallway, the closet was right here. Here's a bedroom here. And in this bedroom, we've got a sauna that's set in here. And I've got to take that apart. And I'm not going to take it apart until I get most of the floors ready to stain. That way I can still keep using this each night to soothe my aching bones. That's right. And I've got this room here that I've been working in, okay? It looks like quite the project. I'm here all by myself and I'm doing it. If you've got help with you, somebody, you know, they don't have to know very much. You keep watching my videos. Even if you don't know how to do it, you can do the same thing I'm doing. Just keep watching the videos and then you can show how the helper help you with this. If I had two or three helpers in this, we would get this knocked out in a jiff. But because I don't, it's taking longer and that's okay. That gives me a chance to go over with you different things in this project and keep making the videos for who? For you, that's who. Well, that's all I got for this time, but I'll be back with more videos.